yo guys what's going on it's me KLV and in today's video we're going to be showing you guys this lava boss build now I know I'm a bit late to doing the lava boss build because lava boss has been out for quite a bit now and uh, yeah, I've just got back into Warframe from having a quite of a big break if you do want to watch me I stream over on Twitch link to that is in the description down below I do giveaways uh, basically just grinding out the game uh, Monday to Friday so if you want to go check out link in the description down below so with this lava boss build it's really really good i've been playing lavos recently and lavos is probably my new favorite frame again there again there to my new favorite frame now the reason why is because she has a lot of damage this frame has a lot of health this frame is very tanky so yeah and has crowd control so has all basically the main things you need all in one so Starters, we have enemy radar, really, really simple. If you don't want to use enemy ra radar and you want to use like something different, that's completely up to you. But I like to use enemy radar just so I can see where they are, and especially when you're in survivals, being able to see where they are on the map is very, very helpful. So, next, we have adaptation on here. Ad adaptation is just for the damage resistance. So, if you get infested or something, then uh, ospreys come, what drop a bunch of toxin, and then in them long runs, they can one kill you, they can one shot you without adaptation. So having that is gonna really really help because 90% damage resistant to to um, toxin definitely can really help. Next is health conversion. This is a really really good mod to have on. This gives you armor and uh, because you're gonna be always gonna be grabbing health orbs because of the transmutation probe. Well, when you chuck this out and say there's an energy orb on the floor, then this will take turn it to an energy orb and health orb. If you saw by the little video there, same with the ammo. It basically just turns it into a universal orb, so you can get uh, basically anything for it. So you're always going to be using this. Uh, also, this is a nice little crowd control ability to use by shocking them, as you can see in the little video right there. And uh, yeah, you're always going to be picking up health orbs, so you're always going to be getting that stack of armor. Next, we have blind rage for the damage. Now, if you want to use a max one, you can. The reason why I didn't use a max one, not because I don't have any capacity. I prefer using this one just because, basically, this goes by down by cooldown reduction. So the efficiency on uh, Larvas goes by cooldown reduction. So we only get a 0.6 seconds cooldown reduction when using this. If you didn't know, when you use this, it gives you a cooldown reduction on all of these. Now I'm going to talk about on, on what order to use these abilities after we go through the build so next we have steel fiber uh, i was going to use umbral fiber but unfortunately i don't have enough room by literally one capacity so if you want to put on umbral fiber you can uh, i don't have my umbral mods maxed out yet but i'm working on it guys i'm working on it next we have the umbral mods like i said umbral vitality umbral, vi umbral intensify to get the maximum health and strength we can again if you have it maxed out you're going to get more than what i have Next you have auger reach and stretch again very very simple just range you want to have a decent amount of range for this because yeah it's a really really good build and then auger reach is just nice because energy spent is abilities is spent on abilities is converter shield so again really nice stuff so i'm going to talk about on what order you should actually use these abilities so basically on the order that i use them is i'll use my catalyze or i'll use my viral rush viral rush so basically, I'll use this one, then I'll use my Catalyze, and then after that, I will then use my Transmutation Pro. The reason why is because obviously the cooldown reduction, we only have 0.6 seconds of cooldown reduction, but still, 0.6 seconds is still a little bit of a cooldown reduction. And then the first ability, the Orphidian Bite, I think I said it right, basically, I only use this when I need to heal. So if I'm, if I'm low on HP, then... I would just start using this i would just start spamming this ability just to basically heal as you can see in the video you can just basically just heal to near about max health when using this so and as well as having adaptation and having 1000 armor and having health conversion to boost up that armor you are going to basically not really die because if you have a really quick reaction and you see all oh, my health's going down use this ability really quick and you can heal back up make sure you do hit a target though but uh yeah the weapon that i do use with this is basically just some sort of really good melee now i use the chronon prime some of you guys might not have the chronon prime because i believe currently it is vaulted and when it's vaulted it costs quite a bit so any melee weapon that you guys like 
is really good. So the Guando Prime is a good melee to use. Nakana Prime is a good one to use, but it's vaulted. Silver Negus Prime, good one to use, but vaulted. Pangolin Prime, good one to use. Orphos Prime, good one to use. Hate, good one to use. Grand Prime, good one to use. A lot, lot of good melees to use. Use whatever melee you think is best. And uh, yeah. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you drop a like and subscribe to the channel. It'd be very much appreciated. And uh, tell me what build you want to see next. And uh, I'll try and work up a build. And uh, yeah, see you guys later. Peace out.